I think we can all agree upon that this man is extremely sexy. But why the f am I talking about him in this video? Self-replicating programs are often also called quins, quines, quines, and it's actually named after this sexy man called Villiard Van Orman Quinn. A queen is a program that generates its own source code as its only output. However, this isn't everything, as just copying your code and printing it isn't really a challenge. Or I mean, for C++ users it may be. I don't know, they haven't got the best reputation, so to say. No, for it to actually be a queen, quine, I, I, how the f*** am I supposed to say it? It can't have its own source code explicitly written in it. Also, it can't use external output, so you can't just type in the source code and print it. On top of that, it can't use external information, so you can't just make it like read off a file that has a source code written in it. And finally, apparently, you aren't allowed to write the source code while at your grandma's funeral. Yeah, yeah, it's disrespectful. Uh, you literally hit the very car yesterday. Yeah. joy killers. <laughs> Anyways, quins aren't really something that you would use in your programs. It's more of just a challenge for programmers to complete. Now to show you that I am a superior programmer and over average size, I'm going to show you an example of a quint that I created. So if you want to go with it at first, you can pause. Yeah, just pause. Don't click off the video. And then when you're done, you can watch my cool quint. So as usual, we include standard io.h and create a main loop. And then we make a string or a sharp pointer for those of you that think you're better than everyone else and probably will die alone. Called I have evaded all taxes for the last three years. In this, we'll actually print out our program. But, 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 here's where we technically make it not just a copy paste of our program. In the print function, we give more parameters, and then in the string, we use these little placeholders. If you for some reason don't know what they are, they are the same thing that you use when printing a variable. They are used to insert something into the string we are printing. Percent symbol C is used to insert a character, percent symbol R is used to insert a racial slur, and percent symbol S is used to insert a string. So we start off by just printing our string out. Then as you see here, we have a sharp placeholder which corresponds to the second argument. The 10 stands for a new line character in ASCII, so we'll actually get a new line here. Then again, as you see here, we have a sharp placeholder which corresponds to 34. The number 34 stands for some weird shit online, but it also stands for the quotation mark in ASCII. So this actually equates to a quotation mark. We then insert the string again to actually print out the value of the I have evaded taxes for the last 10 years variable. And then we end it with another quotation mark. We then insert some more new lines and we're done. Look, a quine. This isn't that complex though, so you should probably try beating at least me in how short you can make the program. Okay, now that the boring part of the video is done, I feel that we should take time to discuss some more important things. Gambling. So I'm thinking like this, why don't you just go to a roulette wheel and bet like a hundred dollars? If you then lose, you better double the previous amount and then you continue doing this until you win. I mean, you can't lose, it's a f***ing infinite money glitch. Even if you lose ten times in a row, all it takes is a single win for you to make money. Let's just see the chance chances that you don't win. The chance for it to land on black is 18 out of 38, so the chance that it doesn't is 20 out of 38. 20 divided by 38 to the power of 11 is about 0.086%. The chances of being struck by lightning is about 0.001%. And is the difference really that big between the numbers? I mean, the chance of getting struck even has more numbers than the chances of losing. So it's basically less likely than getting struck by lightning that you won't win. Remember kids, the fastest and best way to make generational wealth is gambling. The how always loses, don't let that change, just one more spin.